All right. Okay. Then let me pull it up here too. And then if you'll text Brooke and see if she can post that one. Oh, she cannot. She is at orientation. All right. <clears throat> over here take us just a minute to get loaded on the computer so we can see your questions a little bit better because I can't see that far away <laughs> what is this about this is a live update on our breeding attempt mm -hmm. yep so um, there will be some time for questions as well like we usually do um, but yeah that's the purpose of this the last vlog we saw was day six so we're going to bring you guys up to speed. Yes. Yeah. All right. Hello, hello, hello. Gosh. All right, so Faith has a computer, so she'll ask some questions along the way. Um, if anytime you all have a question, you can go ahead and put it in there. We will try to answer them. If we don't answer them live here, then we will answer them um, later. You guys will we'll go back and answer all of them. So, yeah. um, Brooke is not here with us today, so uh, Faith and I are trying to hold down the fort. <laughs> Someone said, hello, lovely ladies. Hope all is well. Not sure you look too happy. <laughs> Do we? Um, we I'm not sure we look too happy. I, yeah. yeah, we have an update, <laughs> so. I'm so tired. <laughs> That's why. I'm so, I'm just so tired. <laughs> yeah. Exhausted. Yeah. We'll wait for a couple more people to hop on and then we'll go ahead and start. Um, we have like a little plan for what we're doing today, but this is just a hangout, super casual. Yeah. Um, someone said, 3D Finley, I went to the boardwalk today and saw that they were selling hermit crabs the size of softballs. So sad. Oh my goodness. I don't think I've ever wow. seen a hermit crab that large in That's a so source setting that is really sad you guys if you haven't had the chance yet we recently released a documentary our first ever documentary um and a lot of it covers the hermit crab industry um and we kind of dive into that it's super super interesting so if you don't know too much about the hermit crab industry that's a great watch um to kind of educate yourself about it we also talk a lot about captive breeding and how that plays into the industry so if you haven't checked that out yet go check it out it's also a really good video to share just on your own, you know, social media platforms because it is so educational for people that just don't even know about hermit crabs, um, where they come from and all that. And so it's not care based. It's really just education and advocacy. So it's a great, great thing to share um, and just get out there to as many people as we possibly can. So please do that if you haven't already. So we're going to go ahead and get started. We've got a good number of you guys in here already. So welcome to Crab Hello. Central Station. My name is Darcy. I'm Faith and usually we would have Brooke here um, but that actually brings us into the first thing that we want to talk about with you guys on this live. Um, Brooke recently just moved to college so she's a freshman and so she's moving in early and getting all ready and things like that and so we don't have her with us yeah. right now and I actually moved back onto campus for my second year tomorrow. So, um, we're yes. gearing up for that. So, uh, so that's why we're coming to you live instead yep. of through our vlogs. So first and foremost, I just want to reach out and be just like, we're just a family. So we're not a business. Like we, we have jobs outside of this and literally just like mom, daughter. Um, we started this channel to help advocate and educate and, um, you know, we do that as best as we can, but yeah. life has definitely been crazy busy for us. Mm -hmm. um, and so we just got behind on not so much filming the vlogs. We did a lot of filming, but just the editing part of it, you guys, as the girls started to pack for college. I am a teacher full time and I am back in the classroom um, last Monday, not just this week, Monday, but the early, the last Monday was my first day back. So, um, no, that's 
a lot of my day. <laughs> yeah, between like the jobs, you know, Brooke and I also worked um, full time this summer. And so between that and getting ready for college and yeah. the channel and the babies, like yeah. it was all a lot. So yeah. we were not able to keep up with the vlogs like we were kind of towards the beginning of the summer when Brooke was home more. She did pretty much all of the vlogs. Yeah. Um, so that is why we're coming to you yep. live today um, instead of over like one of our regular edited videos. Yes. Uh, yes. But we yeah. hope that y'all understand. <laughs> yes. So thank you for joining us. Yes. So our last vlog, you guys, was day six. And if you haven't already seen that, I will just say for those of you that, that didn't watch yet, we um, had a strawberry babies oh. um, that we revealed on day six that were born. Um, we knew they were coming. We were watching the mom. We actually put her in the birthing suite and all that. And so she birthed all on her own. Uh, birthed. Spawned all on her own <laughs> in the birthing suite. Um, and so that was really awesome. And she spawned a lot, a lot of Zoe. So you yeah. guys got to see that in the last vlog as well. So that takes us to today. Which um, is not day six. Which is not day six, yeah. Um. Guys, we just wanted to catch you up and that would have been a lot of vlogs because today is actually day... Oh gosh, now I've got to think about this. It's it's day 15, 15 for, the for the strawberries. Day 22 for, for the enigmas. Alright, yeah. so we have come a lot further. So those of you that have been following our journey know that we had the 11 day... Um, plague or curse I don't know what you want to call it so we have far exceeded yeah. you guys our 11 day curse with yeah. two different species because right here behind me we have enigmas on day 22 <laughs> and strawberries on day 15 yeah. so just kind of an update for those of you who haven't been able to keep up with our vlogs um, we're crab central station right now we're working towards um, breeding hermit crabs in captivity, which is extremely difficult. It, it takes a lot of time. It's only been done a few times before ever, so we're part of that research that's going into it. Um, and we have tons of mentors that are helping us with this. Mary Akers, it's Daisy Griffith, Risky Butronto. Um, all of those people are helping us to get there, but what she's talking about, this 11-day curse, is that um, typically the, I guess, what, gestation period or what would you call it? The the life period the of a zoe, yeah, yeah, the larval stage lasts anywhere from like 20 to 26? 28, yeah. 28, 26, depends on the it's species, a big range. So. Um, it lasts about that many days. We have not been able to make it past day 11 with our past attempts. This is what, like attempt number six, I think? No, four. This is four? Well, four and five together. So Nicholas is four, Strawberry is five. There you go. So um, we've not been able to make it past stage ele or day 11. So this is huge that we've made it yes. all the way to day 22. This is like a huge deal to us. Yes. And the way that we've done this is through a filtered chrysal. So a chrysal is this right here, um, which is what you actually... Um, put the babies into it, mimics the tides of the ocean, and that's what actually they tumble through basically for all 26 of those days. Um, and we recently switched to this filtered chrysal method um, in hopes of making it easier on us because it makes, or it, um, we have to do less water changes when it's filtered. And um, it was working wonderfully for the first 14 days, so 13 days. And then we hit a wall, <laughs> and unfortunately, and it's happening right now, um, 